Okay, hello everybody. This is Brandon Vidal with Vidal Properties here in Cascade, Michigan, uh, which is Grand Rapids area. So we're going to make some calls today in this video. I'll make a, a couple of calls here to some follow-up, um, some open house follow-up from this weekend. And, uh, and then we'll make some expired calls on the dialer. So I'm going to make this call real quick to a couple of folks. So I had a guy that asked me a question about a house. I was doing an open house yesterday for a friend of mine. And I'm not sure if that mic is the one working, but uh, we'll see how well this picks up. If you can't hear me, let me know. All right. So let's go ahead and dial these folks real quick. Alex, hi, this is Brandon Vidal. I uh, had a chance to meet you and Lisa yesterday, so thanks for coming by the open house. It was nice to meet you guys, and as well, thanks for the help with my shoulder and a little bit of advice there. So I uh, wanted to give you a call, let you know the windows that you asked about were replaced, uh, we believe, in 2017. Let me just double-check my notes, make sure she didn't say 2007. She may have. 2017, 2017. Okay, so uh, if there are any other questions you have, give me a shout and I'll follow back up. Thanks so much. 616-202-2802. Bye. All right, so that was one. This guy didn't really have a phone number, so I'll email him later. And... email here from somebody about a property yes it could we need some work on the peeling paint outside all right let's go ahead and jump on the dialer <coughs> And while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and put on some beats so that we can have a little bit of something going on. And it has to be beats. I can't I can't do music, it seems, because then you worry about people infringement issues, right? So we'll go ahead and do beats. Let's see if we like this. All right, jumping on the dialer for expired calls here, guys. So expired, we, I use Mojo Dialer, uh, Triple Dialer, and I like to jump in here and just get after it. So we're going to do a little while here. So select all. Power Dialer, call selected dial, selected numbers, start dialer. Speaker button. All 
right, Tyler's ringing. Hello? Hi, is this uh, Mr. Fink? Yeah. Hi, Mr. Fink. My name is Brandon Vidal. I'm the owner of Vidal Properties here in Cascade. I was calling because I noticed the property there in Byron Center. Um, maybe a month ago I noticed it, and then I just saw that it came up expired. Um, is that something that you're going to consider selling again at some point? It should already be back up. We just took it down. We changed the price, and it's back up. Oh, okay. In that case, um, I did not check the MLS. I just saw that it expired. Let me double check for you. Um, Country Trail. Okay, I see that. And if I have any questions aside from that, I will reach out to Mark. Sorry about the call. Okay. All right, take care. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. All right, so we'll make sure we kill that one. Deadly trash. I'm not going to call it a contact. Just because it's not, it's not really a contact. So what I have going on, guys, is maybe I can, there's a way for me to switch my camera here and show you. Well, all right, so Your I've call has got a few screens to an here. Automated voice messaging system. Drop message. Four. So I've got my MLS you have reached the voicemail on the left side here. Six. I've got my CRM here. I've got Mojo here. And then over on the other side on my screen, I usually have um, like Spokio uh, up. So uh, this allows me to have, you know, my calendar up on the right hand side, Spokio, if I need to find somebody's information real quick, my CRM so I can put data in there as I'm talking to them. Uh, and then usually here on my lower screen is what I, where I have uh my email open uh, if I have it open. A lot of times in uh, a lot of times in uh, in the morning, I'm not uh, doing really anything with my email. So uh, a lot of times I actually have it closed, email closed, cell phone turned off, not off, but at least the volume, uh, so that I'm not being uh, bombarded. I mean, thank you for calling. You are now connected to the person you dialed. Give an example, just while I was on the dialer this morning, I had like, I had like nine missed calls. So you want to be careful. Hello, people. What's your call? Uh, hello. Hi, this morning. Hi, can can you hear me? Yes, this is what I want to make your call. Oh, okay. I may have a bad number. I was calling for an Andrew Winter. Do I have the right number? Um, I actually don't have the information as to who you're calling, and I actually transferred the recording if you would like to leave a message. Um, sure. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I was calling about a house on Bayberry. And... Is it, are they, um, are they hearing impaired? That's why I'm, I'm like, you're translating or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so I was calling about the house on Bayberry, and if they would give me a shout back, that'd be great. 616-202-2802. That's it. All right, thank you. I want to hand that message. All right, thank you very much. Thanks. All right, bye.
Hi, my name is Brandon. I was calling for Mike. Do I have the right number? From where? Um, my name is Brandon Vidal. I was looking for a Mike Pollack. Sometimes I get a bad number. That's why I asked if, if I have the right number. Yeah. Oh, hi, Mike. number. Oh, maybe I misdialed. I meant to dial 616-915-1227. Is that I don't know, but I'm not Mike. No, that's fine. This isn't a sales or collection call. They just had a house for sale. Um, so I'll, I'll make this uh, number. I'll mark it as a bad number. And um, you might get another call from a Keller agent. It just won't be from Vidal Properties. Um, so just apologize in advance if it happens. Okay. All right, Mike. Or not Mike, but whomever. Take care. Hi, you've reached Michael Pollock. I'm not available to take a call right now, so please leave your name and number, and I'll return your call. Please. So this says calling them back, so I'm going to punch their address in. That's Mike. Um, I'm sorry, you said this is Mike? Nope. Yes, you have the wrong number. Um, okay, I wasn't calling for Mike. Um, did I just dial you? Yep. I was looking for Brandon. Yep, you have the wrong number. Okay, have I already talked Is to you? about real estate? Yeah, no, it just sounds like you already, have I already spoken to you? Uh, I don't know because I've gotten about 10 phone calls. Oh, did you? Oh, no, it's uh, you, you made it sound like I was, uh, like I'd already spoken to you. That's why I confused me. Sorry. Um, so you don't, you obviously oh, don't know. No problem. Bro. Yeah, no worries. Do you, do you, who do you know on the planet who needs a realtor or should be one? <laughs> I do not right now. I just built a new house last year. <laughs> All right. And you don't know anyone in your world that should, <laughs> that should be a realtor? Anybody with like aspirations and, you know, great personality, anything like that? Anybody come to mind? Nah, off the top of my head. <laughs> All right. I love helping people get into the business. That's why I asked. Okay. Hey, well, hey, um, have a great day. All right. Thank you. All right. My pleasure. Bye. Bye. 782 is a bad number. I call it a contact, though, because I did ask him who he knows. I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Brandon. I, I I may have a bad number. I was looking for a Chris Hubbard. Oh, that's my problem. Oh, um, my mistake. Sorry about that. Um, I was calling about the house he had on 35th Street. The other number I have is a um, uh, 330-6469. Is that the better number? Uh, I believe so. Can you give me one second to check in my contact? Yeah, of course. Yeah.
You said three three zero six four six nine. Correct. That'd be my uh, stepmom, Chelsea. Oh. <laughs> Uh, is there a better number you're comfortable in giving me? I was just calling him to catch up with him about that house. Um, dad's number would be uh, 269-330-0074. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, no problem. I'll give them a buzz. And uh, I ask everybody, do you, do you happen to know anyone on the planet who will need a realtor anytime soon or should actually be one? Uh, like to become a realtor? Yeah, I love getting people into the industry and I charge nothing to coach them and help them get licensed anywhere on the planet. <laughs> uh, it, sounds, it, it sounds like a really uh, cool career. I'm just, I'm pursuing something else, but I will remember your number if uh, one of my friends uh, up here decides to become one. Yeah, I, I can drop you an email or you can find me on YouTube with all my links to get licensed and all sorts of stuff. Do you just want my name? Uh, yeah, I have it. So, Brand uh, right, written down. Okay, Brandon Vidal, V I D A L. Okay, awesome. All right. Hey, I, I appreciate your time. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Have a good day. All right, you too. Bye. Bye. All has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Six one six nine one five eight two five. Still ringing.
So <clears throat> getting all the duck. Sorry, the mailbox is full and there is not enough space to leave a message. To send a message to another subscriber, enter the area code and phone number of that subscriber. Getting on a dialer can be a little bit, it can seem like a lot to two people. And uh, the bottom line is it can be unless you get used to it. So get used to it. Get on there, get on the dialer, have a good time. And don't go to, don't spend the money on the dialer and then get on uh, one, uh, you know, single line or, or a double line. Use the triple dialer. Use it. It's not like you have to take calls faster. It's just there are more calls in line. Uh, so it's worth it. Uh, I spoke some things into existence. I feel like this uh, beginning of this year, you know, I said that I, I said that I wanted to, my desire was to uh, raise uh, half a million dollars this year and uh, generate a million to a million and a half in assets. Uh, so I had an opportunity. The oh, hello, Mr. Winters. Yeah. Hi, my name is Brandon. Is this Bill? Oh my God, you got the right person. I can't help you. Yeah, okay. Hi, sorry, uh, Doug. Um, I own Vidal Properties here in Cascade, and I had uh, I noticed the property there in Caledonia because I used to live there. Uh, I noticed it about uh, two months ago, and then I see that it came up expired. Are you still going to consider selling it again this year? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's going to get reactivated this week. Oh, okay. So, do you already have a um, do you already have a contract filled out for that? Yeah. Oh, you do. Okay. Is that back with the same agent? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I pre I appreciate it. You said you already signed a contract then. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, best of luck, and if I can find anybody that'll fit it, um, I'll let Andrew know. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Well, you know, so he says he's already signed with somebody. Uh, otherwise, I would have dug in and going back up this week. So we can call it a contact. Well, not really. Because I didn't really get to ask him about anybody else in this world. So I'm going to do one of these videos of, Oh, I was saying that I, I've had some opportunities come up. So um, keep your eyes open guys. I mean, things are always popping up that, that we don't realize we can take advantage of. Uh, you know, I have a, I had a, um, a buyer that's looking at an expensive property and he didn't want to outlay over a certain number. Hello. Hello. Hello, Glenn. Hello. No answer. <clears throat> you said somebody was willing to pay a certain number for a property, cash, or... Magic Jet customer you have called is unavailable to take your call. Please leave a message after... Or is willing to pay... Hi, you've reached Nora Cranston. Why? Leave a message and I'll get back to you shortly. Thanks and have a good day. So at a seller willing to sell at X cash and a buyer willing to pay a larger amount uh, on a land contract. So I said, hey, why don't I buy it? Why don't I find a way? And I don't have $3 million to buy 
this property and turn around and sell it on a land contract to the other gentleman for a higher number. But what I do have is contacts and what I do have is determination. And what I do have is a drive and uh, a willingness to Please leave your message out for others. six one six five eight one eight zero nine three. So I started calling around. I started getting with the people that I know, and um, you know, next thing, <clears throat> next thing I know, the very next day, I'm on the phone with uh, somebody, and I have eight. Uh, contacts for lenders, um, hard money lenders in Los Angeles and Beverly Hills, you name it. And uh, this week might just might turn into uh, quite an opportunity because of that. So not just that, uh, but as well, a gentleman that I've, I've been running into at the gym lately, the guy has a, a few uh, interior designer or uh, yeah, he does interior designs and he's got a few storefronts here in Michigan, Charlotte, North Carolina, a few other places. Um, and he, he and, and um, another gentleman just seems. Oh, Hi, this is Peggy. Please leave a message. All yesterday, all day yesterday, just seemed like opportunities were sort of popping up that had everything to do with my objective. Of, Bill, I'm unavailable. Take your message. Please uh, leave me your name and number and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Uh, so things are just sort of coming into place. You know, they're the things that I, I was saying I wanted to be a part of, and it's happening. Uh, or at least the ball is rolling. So speak the things into existence that you desire. And you might be surprised at what happens. I guess that's what I'm figuring out myself, too. Let's see if she can. Hello, can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Hi. Yeah, can you hear me? I don't understand. What I, you asked a question. Hi, you're Reed Zimmer, Biomedical. I'm sorry you missed your call, but if you need your name, number, and... Okay. ringing. Hello. Hi, my name is Brandon. I was calling for uh, William or Deborah. Do I have the right number? 
No, you don't. Um, my apologies. I may have misdialed with my fingers here. I meant to dial 616-755-2134. Is that the number I dialed? No, it's not. Okay. Um, well, this isn't a, a collection or sales call. I was just trying to reach you because they had a house for sale. Um, so let me mark this as a bad number here in my system. Uh, I own Vidal Properties at Keller Williams, so you might you might get another call from a Keller agent. It just won't be from my team. Um, just in case, just as a heads up, um, have you already gotten some calls? No. No. Okay. Well, yeah, as a heads up, you might get some calls. Uh, that house they had for sale expired today uh, or yet, yet today. So um, hopefully whoever calls is nice. <laughs> and do you happen to know anyone on the planet who should be a realtor or needs one anytime soon? No, I don't. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem. All right. Bye now. So I'll call her a contact because I got to ask her. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's a bad number. So what I'll do is jump over here real quick to Spokio. Punch in the name which it's kind of an interesting name. I can't even spell it. All right, so I'm pretty sure, well, yep, there's only, looks like one person. Uh, there's a couple, just two people in Michigan. So they are Ionia. Let's just check, make sure I've got the right spot. Yep, one else, it's two. Okay, it's expired. Yes, of course it is. And it is. Okay, now let's see where it is. I have 96. It's on the west or the east of the highway, it looks like. Yep, just on the east side of the highway. That's in there. What's the phone number we had? 2134. I'm just saying that's not the right number. <clears throat> Let's try this other number here. We'll copy that. We'll toss this in. Delete that one because it was a bad number. We'll go ahead and toss this one in and see. It says it's a home number, so I'll save that. Email is the same, so we'll go. <clears throat> Contact next number. All right, so we are on the expired dialer. We have about, let's see, today I've made 116 calls. There's 1,700 numbers on there. <laughs> I was saying a moment ago, this guy starts to, you know, it's wild. I, you know, people say, you know, vision boards and putting your, your plans out there into the, into the ethos and it's just wild how it happens. So uh, here I am. I find myself focusing on. I'll be talking with somebody here in just. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. Just about two hours. <clears throat> Six, zero, nine, seven, four. And uh, this is a guy that's in L.A. in Beverly Hills that is just loaded down with, with money, sold a tech company, and has just been investing heavily in real estate. Uh, through a couple of contacts, I was able to, um, you know, befriend this person. And uh, in a matter of a few minutes on the phone, you know, I'm asking him for three, three and a half million dollars to um, to enter into a double escrow situation where I, I'm purchasing and then selling the same property. Uh, and he's like, OK, what part of this deal is, is difficult? So let's do it. Let's talk Monday and I'll have you funded by Friday. So um I started my business a year ago and, and, you know, nothing's happened yet with this and it, it could be uh, quite the opportunity for us to really step up in the world with our business. So um, this is what I said I wanted to do at the beginning of the year and it's um, starting to show a little bit of uh, possibility. So I'm going to dead lead this one because it's a bank um, um, and it's in Paw Paw. Honestly, I have listed in Paw Paw. I don't feel like driving an hour again, an hour and a half down there. So uh, let's see, no contact. We'll go.
is forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Six. Sorry, one, my phone's still blowing up. The person you have dialed can't take your call now. At the tone, please record your message. When you Hi, my name is Brandon. I was calling for Rex. Uh, my number is 616-202-2802. If you would give me a call, um, I'm just curious about a place I saw down in Portage um, a couple of months ago there on Deep Point Drive. So uh, my number again, 616-202-2802. My name is Brandon, and I look forward to speaking with somebody. Thanks so much. No contact, next number. Hello. Hi, my name's Brandon. I was looking for Wendy. Do I have the right number? Hi, Wendy. Hi, did I, did I wake you or are you under the weather? I'm under the weather, but Hi. it's okay. Oh. Well, that's all right. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. My name is Brandon. I own Vidal Properties here in uh, Cascade. I was curious. I saw. I'm not. I'm not sure where Cascade is. Um, okay. Forest Hills, Grand Rapids. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't know where that is. What's going on? <laughs> well, I was curious. I saw a property on Birchview a couple months ago. Uh, I was up in Nunica with a listing appointment, and and then I just noticed it it came off the market yesterday or today. It came off the market last week. Yeah, it's showing. Um, yeah, so I was curious if you're still. Oh, sorry, I did not not mean to interrupt you. You have, if you have somebody that is truly truly serious, I will right now. I'm snowed in at my son's house. I'm not a good driver. No. But pull it off the market because for some reason I have some of the most gorgeous properties. So in the winter, you know, the, all the leaves come off the trees. There's one house behind mine, like a mile back, and he owns like 30 acres. So nobody can ever build back there. But for some reason, in the winter months, it doesn't show as pretty. You know what I'm saying? So I pulled it off the market. For like three months until it starts getting pretty out again, so people can see it. Gotcha. I don't. I don't have a real. I don't have a realtor anymore. We could work you on me, you know, one on one, and get rid of the other realtor. She's out right now. She already knows she sold. I had two homes, but I, I had one in the ski and then I sold that one in Did two you? days. Oh no! <laughs> but my house, my house is higher priced, and I'm willing to come down a little bit, but I can't come down too much more. But I can come down a little. Okay. Well, I, I mean, at first glance, I don't know if that's necessary. Uh, I mean, sometimes the very best mm -hmm. houses don't sell the first time. It just takes a little different approach, you know, even at the same price. Right. So, exactly. Yeah. Um, well, do me a favor. Give yeah. me your call in a couple of months when the weather starts going. And we can like something out. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'd love to. And, in, 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 uh, you know, let me say this. I'm a Marine, so I don't like pressure unless I ask for it. So please only take this as me. Oh, no giving you advice like if you're my sister um the two months of the yeah, year somebody else uh-huh the two months of the year with the most closings and pendings are june and like december with january being a very close follow behind um, most people are very surprised to hear that so i yeah my <laughs> my advice to everybody including my personal you know my family and friends is um 
you, you want to sell a property when you have the least amount of competition and the most serious buyers instead of... Right, but what happens is everything sold around me and for the life of me, we've walked through it 10 times. There, it's perfectly clean. My husband is dead. I live in a 3,000 square foot home by myself. It's spotless. Mm. So we've gone through and taken anything down that somebody might not like. I don't know what to do all the business. Yeah, no, I, well, I mean, the, kind of in a thought. No, I can imagine. I'm sorry about your loss. Um, well, if, if I could show you how to sell it in the winter market where you have serious shoppers and not a lot of looky loos, I mean, if I could show you how to do that in the next 30 to 45 days without any hassles, that would be worth, I don't know, 30 minutes of your time, wouldn't it? Yeah, you call me next week sometime and we'll okay. talk. Okay. I, I just don't know how I feel about the winner. I know, I get that a lot, and, and I assure you. I, I assure you. I have to, uh, that I'm on my own, and I have to move cross country. Well, the good news is in the winter, so. bu buyers are willing to give you a 30 or 45 day close or longer and they're yeah but it, it hasn't it hasn't sold so far i know i know yeah, it, i don't know what else to do right now i'm just getting a complex on it it's the uh, cleanest perfect house and i don't know what to do with it well it's perfect it so is call me, it is a great show weather. call me next week and we can talk about it. somebody else told me that they heard that sometimes sells if you uh, change the color of the front of your door <laughs> Don't. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, I tell you, uh, I tell you what. I see an, an email here. Um, maybe I, I can confirm. Is is what? Contract with you. Um, I, you know, normally a minor, most agents are a year, minor six months, and I'm open to other ideas because the, at the end of the day, I, my objective is to get it sold in the first two weeks. So um, I'm I okay. Thought that's my, uh, I thought that's what my real team is doing, and I haven't had an open house in a month and a half. OMG. OMG. Well, yes. not only did she do that, she left my doors wide open. Oh, no. How did you happen to pick that last agent? She's supposed to be a fabulous rate. She said she's sold over two pounds and she's well done. Right there, Harris. That's five stars. Yeah. I don't uh, know. Well, I tell you what, you're under the weather. Is there a best time of the day to dial you in afternoon or? Any time out in the morning. <laughs> All right. My name is Brandon. Yeah, I think there was best time. Aww. Okay, Brandon. I'll talk to you next week. Thank you for following. My pleasure. Take care, Miss Wendy. Bye bye. Bye. All right, guys, there's an easy one, right? So we've got, um, I say easy because there wasn't a lot of pushback. Um, last agent did nothing, left doors open, no open houses. Uh, I would have gone through the rest of my script on prequal, but the bottom line is she, she you know, she's going to push back on winter. You're going to get pushed back on winter. Um, that's the bottom line. You're going to get that in the, in the cold months. So, you know, be prepared and hitting them with um, a stat or two that kind of interests them. Right? I told her, hey, uh, the two months of the year with the most closings and pendings are typically June and December. Yeah, she's like, wow. Um, you know, I say January is a very close second there. And, uh, you know, you can get 30 to 60 days of possession or 30 to 60 days closing, 30 to 60 days of possession after close. So you can say yes to a winter time, a winter time motivated shopper now, and you're actually not having to move until, you know, April, you know, so if I, if I could show you how to get that done, sell your house for the most that you can in a winter environment with motivated buyers and not have to move until after the winter, pause, 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 that would be worth 45 minutes of your time. Pause, pause, pause. Wouldn't it? Downstream, not wouldn't it? Right? Um, and she said 
She went from saying, call me in a couple of months to call me next week. So that's a three four hundred thousand dollar listing. It's you know, a little over almost twice the average price in the uh, in West Michigan. It's about right in line with my average, maybe just under, and, um, and it's perfect, right? So it's a great property. Um, the agent she was not happy with. It's a 2016. Uh, they're listed at 394. They started off at 440. Uh, so let's see what RPR gives me just as an idea. 398. So here you have an example of a property that's worth about what it's listed at now. Unfortunately, it was on the market at a price that was 440, which is higher than real, really, you know, it's higher than what it should have been at. And it was at that price. Looks like 440. Just they were there for a few months before they came down at all. So, you know, I'll, I'll send her my welcome kit. I'll send her my uh, marketing plan and uh, I'll send her my seller's homework kit. So here's my, my welcome kit. I do this in a digital format. So they have uh, an idea of me and some resources for home buying. Each of these links goes to a video that I've uh, edited and cr created and edited and is on my, my uh, YouTube channel. It walks them through the things I want them to know about my process ahead of time. So they don't have to uh, hear it from me later and I don't have to miss anything. So there are a couple of key pages in here for them. Uh, buyer resources, seller resources, such as preparing my home for the market, uh, my pricing strategy, uh, my go-to marketing plan. And then an example of a video that I did that had 75,000 views across the planet. <clears throat> so they get this and they get my eight week marketing plan in digital format, which will walk them through every step of my marketing plan ad campaigns, uh, you name it, right? So they have a really good idea of what's going to happen. <clears throat> and instead of me having to tell her a bunch of stuff about myself, I can email this to her. It'll give her the ability to look it over at her own leisure, check me out online, and almost feel like she knows me before I call. So when I call, she'll be like, hey, Brandon. And when I knock on the door, it'll be like we've known each other for a little while. She'll look over everything and she'll believe right away that I'm I'm spades above this other realtor who never gave her anything, never showed her anything, never did anything. And so that's the benefit of going digital. Um, I advise everybody out there, get with paperless agent, 60 bucks a month, and you're talking thousands and thousands of dollars in value a month. Um, it's just unreal. So get with paperless agent. That would be my advice. <clears throat> if you haven't heard of Wawa, check out Wawa, hashtag Wawa. Okay, so last agent did nothing. All right, so here's the here's the bottleneck. <clears throat> I can lead gen all day long, right? I've made 121 phone calls, uh, contacts, 12 contacts, a couple of good nurtures. So here I'm at a point where I've got somebody who's a nurturer, who's a good nurturer. And I used to immediately write their name down here and then come back later to put their data in. Um, I'm learning that's one of my faults. It's something that I'm not the best at. So now I'm just going to go ahead and enter her info into my CRM as quickly as I can. Copy and paste email. Boom. Copy and paste phone number. It's the 09318. Boom. Address. So now it takes a second because, I mean, it probably feels like it takes a minute uh, because I'm so used to, to running on continuing going um, that's a problem though because you don't want to not put them in and not have them in your system so stage uh, prospect source expired price 395 tag expired 
and I say seller A because the, that lady's selling in the next 30 days with me. Okay, so I have her in there. Now for notes, I'm just going to do <clears throat> uh, old MLS number four, three. Four thirty-nine. Okay. Two. Three ninety-five. Part fifteen days on market, and I'll throw in the remarks here just so I have something to work on later. Boom. And I'll save that note. I used to save that in background. However, when you save it in background and follow up boss and transfer over to command, it does not save if it has more than a certain numbers of, of uh, words in background. So upcoming task, I'm, you know, my A, a folks get calls twice a week as the objective. So she asked me to call her next week, um, see notes and call back for appointment, call next week. Today's Monday. So I'll give her a call next Monday about that. Boom. So now she's in the system. And I'm going to jump here. Tell you what. So the email I'll hold off on. I'm going to put her name down. I'll send the email in a little bit. Because I don't want you to sit there on the screen while I'm sending an email. <clears throat> okay. Email. So for me, uh, it just means I want to put her name down and circle it with circle the E to make sure that I know I need to go back later and send that email. All right, so boom, now she's in. I have my, um, my CRM connected to Google Contacts and Google Email and Command, KW Command. So now that that's in my, my CRM, I can pull that name up right here on my phone. Um, just, uh, just go ahead and show you. So I haven't touched my phone since I put that, uh, that, uh, information in. Let's see. There she is. Boom. Okay, done and done. All showed up in my, my phone, just like that. So th that's huge, guys. Connect everything. Connect Google Contacts, Google Word, or Google Contacts and Google Email to your CRM, and then everything will work in conjunction. So that's that's um, that's a bit of advice for me, something that's very helpful. So. All right, now I am going to make sure, let's see. Mm, call next week. Oh, <clears throat> now I want to make sure I dead lead her in Mojo so she doesn't wind up back in my dialer. And I'll call that a contact. All right, let's see if we can do another one. Let's actually get an appointment here. <clears throat> Thank you for calling 847-338-2939. Thank you for calling Connor Robinson with Ghost Service Bank. Please leave me a message and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I don't think that's a good number here. We'll say 300 is 40. Hello, you've reached Herman from Secret Corporation. I'm away from the phone right now. Please leave a short message. I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thank you for calling. At the tone, please record your message. <coughs> when you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more.
still dialing. All right, my dial is ringing. I know you can't hear it. I'm not just sitting here staring at the screen. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. She's not kidding. That house is nice. Well, because the photos are terrible. Hey. Eh? She took pictures with her cell phone. Don't take pictures with cell phones, guys. Come on. I mean, if you need a good photographer, just let me know. I get you somebody. It's a hundred bucks, two hundred at most. Really? I mean, you know, walk around with our cell phone. Hello. Like you got a picture of your with your cell phone of the inside of their pantry. With all their canned goods, nobody cares about the pantry with the with the canned goods. Why? Do you care about the pantry with the canned goods, or the picture of the backyard that literally the ground covered in snow? Mm -mm -mm. People, people. Just spend the money. Hello, Betty. Who has fax machines anymore? Two more missed calls. Who do we have here? Oh, some one of my buddies from LA here. Who called? That was two one three six five four four. Sure, who that was. Been forwarded to an automatic voice message system two six nine nine two. Oh, I meant to hit drop message. Let's see what number is that? Two one three. Is that maybe? All right, still ringing. Let me do a couple more calls and I gotta take a break. Not just a break, just the break. Yeah. If not available, record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound mm. for Here's more. my voice now. Hi, Steve. This is Brandon. Hey, I was hoping to catch up with you real quick. When you get a chance, give me a shot. I hope you're well. 616 202 2802. My goal is that he thinks I might be somebody he knows, and it's like, hey, let me call this guy back. Mm, it works sometimes. 
All right, 131 calls. We'll make this last one here. And I really got to take a break. Remember the movie? Oh, that's calling back. So let's pull his phone up here or his address. Yeah. Hello, Justin? Nope, you've got the wrong number. Maybe I misdialed. My apologies. I meant to dial 244 3569 616. Uh, yeah, it's the wrong, it's the wrong number. That's oh. Bales residence. oh, no worries. No worries. Do you, uh, I was looking for Justin. He had a house for sale. Do, do you know Justin Malkowski? No, I don't. I'm so... I've never heard of him. <laughs> All right. How about uh, Bass Lake Avenue in Gowan, Michigan? Does, does that address or that area ring a bell? <laughs> Uh, that's north of where I live at. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm in Greenville. Okay. Well, I'll mark this as a bad number. Uh, I was calling just to touch base with him about the house. So um, you might get a couple of other calls. Okay. You, you might get a couple more calls. Okay. From, do you hear, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So I'm just, as a, as a heads up, you might get a couple of other calls from agents looking for him. I hope they're polite with you. Um, it won't be from my team, though, okay? okay? All right. And by the way, do you know anybody on the planet who needs a realtor or should be one? Uh, not, not at the moment. All right. Hey, thanks so much. Happy New Year to you. Okay, thanks. All right, bye. All right. Has no referrals. Ooh, so one thing I haven't been asking is what do you need for referrals in your world? Oh, do I have a call coming in? Hello? Okay. One thing I like to do is ask, who do you, you know, what do you need? What referrals do you need in your world? And uh, I haven't, I haven't been asking that. And then a lot of times I'll, I like to ask, you know, what is it that you do? Maybe there's a way I can bring you some business in the future. Um, people like, people like that question. So um, this is how you make live lead generation phone calls on expireds. Uh, I'll be, if you check out some, uh, look down here in the, in the description there, um, or check out some of my other videos. Um, I have years and years of uh, video that I'm gonna, I'm constantly working on downloading. So thanks for checking this out. If you know anyone that wants to um, give me advice or role play with me, script practice, ask me a question on really any kind of uh, objection that you're dealing with. And I have a feeling I have a an, an arrow in my quiver for it. I'm kind of known for it. So I'd love to be challenged. Uh, I welcome any constructive criticisms and I would love to help you get licensed in real estate. If you feel that you've wanted to give it a shot at any point in your life, uh, there's a link here in the description on how to get licensed and you can find that ability for any state in the country. Uh, if you're out of the country, let me know where you are and I'll link you up with the right people anywhere on planet earth. If you would like to be a real estate agent and build real wealth. Thank you for watching. My name is Brandon Vidal, Vidal Properties in Grand Rapids, Michigan.